Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the stream. So today, we're going to be playing in South America. We're going to be playing the great nation of Colombia. Did I turn off Fog of War? I did. Excellent. I'm once ahead of myself. Um, so what is our plan for this series? Well, my plan is to form Grand Columbia. I don't think I've ever seen the AI form Grand Columbia. We're going to form Grand Columbia, then we're going to join up with the Reich's Pact. I think that seems like a fairly uh, straightforward thing to do here. Um... Okay, my microphone turned off for a second. I'm not too sure why. I apologize for that. So, what is our starting situation? We have seven factories. We are at 205. Which means not great. But it's not the worst we've seen either. So in order for us to form Columbia. Or Grand Columbia, I guess I should say. Can you do Grand Columbia campaign Victoria 2? I do want to play Victoria 2 again. Um, I still got to do the Grand campaign. I keep delaying that. And I apologize. But I think our next Victoria 2 st uh, stream, which I do want to play again, will probably be Portugal. I don't know when... We, we might do Grand Columbia. We might wait for Victoria 3 to try out Grand Columbia. But for us to get Grand Columbia, we need to kill Venezuela, Ecuador, and Panama. One interesting thing about Panama is that you actually don't have a direct border with them. This is actually incrossable terrain. Hello, Spock. Also, I did. That's still very loud. Let's get our units up together. We have two generals, one field marshal. Nothing too too crazy. I'm gonna put my units on the Ecuador border first. So, in order for us to form Grand Colombia, we need to make sure the paternal autocrats win the election. By win the election, I mean declare a state of emergency, and then I probably actually should have looked up how to how to actually get a state of emergency. We'll worry about that in 1938. For right now, we'll go with economic restructuring. Get that going first. Research. Let's go with all of our basics. Machine tool. Construction. And research. Get all that stuff going. What do we want to build? Right now, we're 2-5. Let's just start off with a single military factory. and We'll take it from there. Get our army navy experience. And I think we should basically be good to go. We'll turn all these off. How actually is our infrastructure looking? We have one supply hub in Bodega. And then a couple of ports. So nothing like super, super crazy. Colombia's place in the world. We can buy civil wars, especially from 1899 to 1903. Colombia has had to acknowledge U.S. right to control the Panama Canal in the hay Bonin very Treaty of 1903. And in the conflict between the two countries about the building of the canal. But the Colombian Congress denied to ratify the treaty with the United States. Uh, the United States forced secession of Panama from Colombia, compensating them between 1921 and 1930 with a payment of around $25 million. Colombia formally recognized Panama in 1921, and conservatives pursued a modernization of the country, expanding the railroad network. And since 19, or 1850, Colombia has been exporting tobacco. After 1900, uh, coffee and bananas were added, with the aid of U.S. capital. After 1905, petroleum. And the Liberals formed the government in 1930, which enacted a land reform, disposing big landowners and social reforms with economic benefits for the middle class, the working class, and the peasants. So again, like, as Colombia, we're not going to be, like, super, super involved in the world uh, affairs, at least for a little bit. Again, we will be joining up the Reich's Pact um, once the war... Well, once they formed Grand Colombia, we like to form up the, join the Reich's Pact. I don't know if Columbia is normally able to join the Reich's Pact. However, I know a console command that we can do to force us to join the Reich's Pact if the event doesn't actually work properly. So, we should be good there. Okay, Tolis Charter, new king of Great Britain. Both these are completely okay. Columbia's an important part of global politics. You know, that's very true. We are missing some steel. We actually produce a little bit of oil and literally nothing else. So if that's the case, we produce basically nothing. I feel like, is it just me or is the game like quiet today? I feel like the, um, like the sound effects are qu quieter. 
I don't know if that's just me, though. Maybe I'm just going a little crazy. Okay, stuff's going on in China. So let's see. I mean, it's still early 1936. I actually don't know. Is Black Monday going to affect us? Because I know the Columbia content is fairly old. And by fairly old, I'm pretty sure it's like five years now. Actually, Columbia may never have been updated. There's a chance that that's, Columbia's never been updated since the mod first came out. I don't know. But we have new economy, which is going to be three bonuses to industry. I'm assuming they probably have changed some of the stuff to make it work um, properly with no step back. But I don't know if that really counts. That's another two times. That's a lot of industry bonuses. Two off map civilian or two off map military factory. Research slot down here. So we kind of, we need all of this, huh? No, you actually just need heavy armament factory. So we can actually quickly rush our way down to getting four free military factories. Which is pretty good. How long are you going to take? You're going to take until the 8th of November. After that, we'll probably, if we're going to get four free military, might as well go for one more civilian factory after that. I think that seems decent. Seems pretty good. And four steel. I mean, how, how bad is that affecting us right now? It's a negative 15%. Honestly, that's not so bad. I was kind of expecting worse. Aside from that, how's everybody else doing? Leave eight provinces are obviously collapsing. Nothing too surprising there. Afghanistan will probably end up losing their war. You're just a regular republic. I did not, um, what's the plan for this run? Basically, form Grant Columbia, join the Reichs Pact. And then kind of continued on from there, beat the Internationale. And anybody else in South America, you know, Brazil goes socialist, Chile, Argentina. You know, we'll, we'll see kind of what happens, but mostly former guy Colombia, join the Reichs Pact. Those are the two main kind of pillars here. Can I go up to free trade? I can. I will definitely do that, because the only thing we really produce in the country is oil. The so 5% dockyard factory and research speed. All sales pretty good. I will take all of those. And Afghanistan ended hostilities. Annex all of France. I mean, I would if I could. Okay, left hand is clearing more on people now, so let's go for more research speed. Again, we, we can't, we don't really have too much content, I think, until 38, which is when the elections will take place. We declare ourselves to save our mercy and immediately go for the crusade against cynicalism. You get us mobilized for war unification. You give us strike Ecuador, Venezuela, conquer Panama, pacify Ecuador, pacify. I'm assuming there might be a slight difference. How long are we streaming for? I don't know yet. Bare minimum until this campaign is over. But if this ends up being like a three-hour campaign, we might switch over to play something else for a little bit. Well, they kind of just just see. I don't, I don't think it's going to be too too long of a campaign. Let's drag you guys down over here because I know pa um, Peru will probably invade Ecuador at some point. Probably before we can really invade them ourselves. Also, what can you do? You know, give me offensive doctrine. We don't have enough command power. Wait, wait a few more days. Actually, how much are we getting per day? Okay, wait, wait about a week and then we can get our uh, field commander to be a little bit better. Our backup to... Can we get early mobilization? No, we don't have war support. We can go for limited conscription. Limited conscription literally does not hurt you at all. It, it's just an actual upgrade. And what do we want to research next? Why is concentrate industry? We have three times bonus to industry. Pretty good. We actually get a lot of decent industry boost, boost as Columbia, surprisingly, uh, when it comes to research. Place coffee boom of coffee trade. Actually, I didn't actually look at our national spirits. We have no national spirits. Okay, so don't worry about that. 
But no, you add Coffee Boom, which is a 7.5% factory output. And then you get replaced with a 7.5% consumer good factory. I mean, 7.5%. That's pretty good. Right now we're at 35 on civilian economy. Things like, are we going to have enough civilian factories where... Or enough factories where 7.5% is really going to make that big of a difference? I mean, maybe. When we get all our military factories, that, that might switch the balance here a little bit. You give us naval dockyards. You know what? With with all these free factories we're getting, getting coffee exports probably is useful. I'm just surprised that it's... I mean, 7.5% factory output. That doesn't even last very long, because you're probably going to immediately go for coffee exports. So that's a 7.5% boost for... Like a month and a half? Who cares? Like, it's not actually very good, surprisingly. Like, I would have... Like, I would have expected maybe an addition, like a 7.5% factory output. And then on top of that, you get a 7.5% consumer good uh, bonus. But no. You get two civilian factories. You actually get six civilian factories out of this. Okay, you actually get a stupid amount of factories out of the Columbia tree. Way more than I was expecting. Do you get any of the military tree as well? You get a 75% reduction here. So you're basically a free doctrine. Another cost reduction. So honestly, the um, the Colombian tree is not terrible. We also get another research slot, so I think it gets us up to five, which is actually pretty good. It's not terrible. I mean, it's definitely old. You can actually, you can tell in Kaiserreich if a focus tree is old based on the amount of events that you get. The fact that we've only gotten a single event so far tells us that the Colombian content is pretty ancient. I mean, get me the military factories. The plan for Columbia? Uh, form Grand Columbia, then join the Reich's Pact. That's our plan. Going to bed, it's 11 p.m. Okay, have a great night, Fins. But... What I was thinking... Is... Um, how many, fa how many trains do we have? We have three. I'm gonna build at least, like, a few more trains. Actually, no, I'm not. We're gonna build some artillery. Follow that up by a single... A single fighter. I was wondering if anybody would be interested in um, me going back and playing the original like point one version of like Kaiserich Alpha, like the very first uh, version that became public, and like going back and seeing all the changes that have uh, been made since then. I think that could be interesting for sure. I don't even I don't even remember what update it was. Chinese days again, like an event today. They do get a lot of events over there. Would be a weird experience. Because I think I played Kaiserreich back then too. I think my earliest Kaiserreich series is from late 2016. Like, that was before any of the Hoi 4 DLC came out. There's a lot, there's been a lot of changes since then. That, completely lost and like what the hell is happening I wonder if I could even play the original versions I mean I know you can go download old versions I think the steam um, beta patches you can go all the way back if you want to the old Kaiser experience oh god if you play the US you'll never have any political power I mean you can do the um we're also missing a lot of uh, material now we we'll get like one factory here just do old, do old American uh, Kaiserreich where you just avoid the Civil War. And it completely breaks like all of South America's change because they require the Americans to have the Civil War to begin with. I'm not too sure who we would actually play if we were to play the old Kaiserreich. I mean, my, my guess would just be Germany just because it seems to... Uh... I think that makes the most amount of sense, but... We'll see, we'll see. 
Give me, give me one more artillery. Give me one more in guns. What do we have going on in the world? I think the Belgrade Pact, yes, they have formed. They'll be going to war with Bulgaria probably sometime in early 37. Russia is going for Karlov, which should mean that um, Savinkov will be taken over in Russia very, very soon. They think that's the only path. If you got Kornilov, I'm pr apparently he's actually got an attack and defense boost against Germany. Even though I'm pretty sure he cannot remain in power. Which is very strange. Like, why would they program him to have attack and defense boost against Germany if he can never actually use them? I love how they have two of the exact same thing. Actually, no, you're just... You're actually just a, a worse version of this. Why would you ever take that? Who would take this? This one's just better. We'll take that one, please. Thank you. Okay, go for radio and then go for a construction speed bonus. There's about two weeks left on you. Then we go for coffee exports. And our month and a half of coffee boom will go away. But you need also the railroad expansion. Two dockyards. I mean, you get decent infrastructure as well. Like, this is not a bad... I would actually say it's a fairly decent industry uh, tree for a country to have. Especially for, like, a, a non-major power. You get, like... If you include dockyards as factories... If you include dockyards as factories, you're getting essentially... Um... Math is hard. 12 free factories. Which... More than doubles your starting game economy within like a year and a half. That seems pretty good. Okay. Got the nationalist in the Italian Republic. You actually that we never played as uh Legionnaire Italy. Do they do they have a unique they do have a little bit of a unique a tree here, but nothing too crazy. Maybe some point we'll play the Legionnaires. I still gotta play the ESRI again at some point. It's been, honestly, I think five years since we played a Socialist Italy. Okay, Ireland, join the Reich's Pact. Welcome. I mean, that's good, because we won't be able to join the Reich's Pact, because we'll be able to join the Reich's Pact in the future. Also, we're not training any units. I just realized that right now. Our units are 18 combat with. I'll at least make them 20 for right now. Put some artillery pieces in them. And then we'll train up, I don't know, 10? 10, 10 seems, no, 9, because that'll actually get us up to our cap of 13. Get these units going, just one row of them for now. We probably will not really be able to afford tanks or anything like that. Eh, but maybe. I think it's a little hard to say. We have, you are being built right now. We have one factory. You're going to be done in May of 37. So you still got a little while until you're ready to go. Then we need to get the infrastructure here. Autumn is clear war on Bulgaria. Concentrate Industry 3 is now finished researching. And by 3, I'm pretty sure I mean 2. You know what? 4 and 8 days honestly is not that bad. Actually, 361 days for you. Give me, okay, give me interwar artillery first. Stuff that's in date that we want typically is going to be better for you. Okay, there's coffee exports ready to go. Oh, no, it does stack. Okay. Excellent. I, th I thought it replaced one with the other. Coffee trade, actually, it's a pretty good little uh, national spirit. It might be... One of the only national spirits we get. Wait, dude, do we get any more national spirits? We might get some in the army tree. Yeah, okay, we get one there. You are 
I mean, attacking the Fantacle territory is, is kind of garbage, but in terms of more organization, I will take. Any Anything that's like plus attack, plus defense on core territory, honestly, is almost always bad. Because you never want to be fighting in core territory, right? Like, when, when do you ever want to do that? You want to say your last Germany series was great? Thank you. Antelorian? I don't, I don't know how you say your name. But I'm glad you enjoyed. I feel like a lot of people like that series, which I'm happy with. I'm, I'm glad people, uh, enjoy that playthrough. Now you can play, well, watch me play countries that nobody cares about, which is Colombia. <laughs> yeah, there's the Rise of the Vodst. I mean, if you live in Colombia, I'm, I'm sure you're like, oh, hell yeah. Somebody on YouTube is playing my country. Because how many people do you think on YouTube have played Colombia in Kaiserreich? I'm imagining it's very few. Actually, while this is going on, I'm actually curious. How many people have played... How many people have played uh, Colombian Kaiserreich? Kaiserreich, Colombia.